security. So just take note of that if you find yourself traveling through this airport. Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today I'm in Taipei. I'm heading back to Tokyo today. I'm going to be flying out of Taiwan's uh, international airport just outside Taipei. Uh, this airport has two, uh, two terminals, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and I think Terminal 3 is un under construction uh, right now. I'm just at an airport uh, hotel, actually not the air airport hotel, at uh, the city gates hotel. It's just two, two stops away. Outside you can see the airport uh, just behind me over there, so really, really, really close. And today I'm going to be flying with Eva Air and they fly out at Terminal 2. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, I just had a coffee, so let's go ahead and check out Taiwan's airport, Terminal 2. TPE is located 40 kilometers west of Taipei. Opened in 1979, it handles most of the international flights to Taipei. It's the hub for Eva Air and Chinese Airlines. Songshan was the initial airport serving Taipei and is located very conveniently in the middle of the city. But, like many urban airports, they are limited by their size and so a new airport was constructed to meet growing demand. The MRT is a convenient way to get to and from the airport. The cost is a very reasonable 160 New Taiwan dollars from Taipei Main Station to the airport. The airport currently has two terminals. Terminal 3 was scheduled to be opened in 2020, however the date has been pushed back and is now set to open in 2023. The initial portion of Terminal 2 was opened in 2000 and the terminal was fully completed in 2005. Now let's meet up with myself on the floor of Terminal 2. So this is the layout of the departures concourse. Uh, there's about 20 uh, check-in columns there if you have to check your bags off or something. Uh, we see Eva Air down at uh, number 14 over there and United is, is behind me at number, number 9. And then everything kind of funnels through to this is where you go for the, the security and so everything kind of funnels to right to the middle. Nice, very open, spacious departures uh, area, which is always good to see. Always nice, natural light. Uh, this is the uh, third floor, is the departures. And then right now I'm actually on the fourth floor, which if you want to get uh, a Starbucks or something like that, there's a coffee and some restaurants, a burger shop on this fourth floor, which is just one step up. Uh, that overlooks the, 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 the concourse. Um, on the bottom level too, there's also a, a family mart convenience store. One thing to point out is Starbucks behind me is the, the one that's in the terminal. I, I ask if there's one after security and they said no. So I guess if you're, if you're a coffee lover and you want a coffee before your flight and you want it to be Starbucks, you have to do it before you jump through security. So just take note of that if you find yourself traveling through this airport. Here by number 16 is the Hello Kitty Eva check-in area. <laughs> so I just got through security and uh, immigration here, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're at gate C1 today, so now it's time to see what there is on this side of the, the terminal. And it looks that terminal, terminal 2 is kind of set up like the letter H. There's uh, what's that uh, pen. Uh, there's ten gates on, on either side of, of the center kind of console area. We're of course at the farthest point. That's normally how this goes. So this is what one of the corridors uh, looks like. Gucci, of course, all the way down there. So it looks pretty long for. It looks pretty long for a corridor that has 10 gates. So I just made it to the end of the corridor and there's nothing nothing too much over here. It's pretty quiet. Uh, one thing I did notice though uh, throughout this corridor is there isn't too many of those seats with the USB ports or, or outlets. So I see some throughout the corridor on the, on the sides, um, but there's nothing really where you can sit down and, and plug in and, and relax for a bit, which is something that I think is missing and, and usually expected it in the air. So one thing I just found out about Terminal 2 is actually directly connected to Terminal 1. So if you have time, you can jump over to Terminal 1 for a bit and, and check that out. Um, you can either take, I think there's a, a way in the middle to go between the two stations, or you can just walk through the corridors uh, like I am now.
The terminal has a wide variety of shopping. More than just duty-free boutiques, there is also video games and electronic shops, as well as athletic apparel stores, and of course, Hello Kitty merchants. A perfect place to pick up all your Hello Kitty essentials. I really did enjoy the browsing variety at this airport. As for food, a couple of noodle shops can be found throughout the terminal, along with some coffee and beer vendors. One thing I always enjoy seeing is a water dispenser that has a hot water option, great for cup noodles, teas, soups, or coffee. What I didn't notice during my time in the airport was that right after the passport control, there's a second floor which houses the food court and the airport lounges, and I walked past it completely clueless. To be fair though, after the passport control, it's a loud, congested area where travelers are more focused on orientating themselves and finding their flight on the large overheads as I was. I think that the second floor can be easily missed as it's not part of the intuitive path from security to the gate. If you have visited the second floor, please leave a comment and let us know the highlights. When walking through the terminal, you'll pass by many of these themed lounges. Initially, I thought they were the gates themselves, but as it turns out, the gates are below these lounges down a flight of stairs. The gates below are pretty bare and not an ideal place to be before your flight. With the gates below, it does create a noticeably quieter and more enjoyable atmosphere in the terminal, and you don't have to worry about passing through long boarding queues with your carry-on. However, it does add another flight of stairs to contend with. Overall, TPE is a nice airport. It's very spacious and efficient. It certainly doesn't feel like an airport that handles 40 plus million passengers a year. And with that, I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought about Taoyuan International Airport. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys around next time.